Good morning, good afternoon. It's actually a little after 12 o'clock. So, good afternoon, friends. Uh, today is Thursday, and we are leaving for Georgia tomorrow. We're gonna be in Georgia tomorrow night and Saturday night, and then Sunday we're gonna be making our way back home. But I thought that um, I would share with you guys what we are packing, or what I am packing for just a quick trip to Georgia for the weekend. We have a wedding to attend on Saturday, and then then a graduation party to um, uh, attend on Saturday evening and then tomorrow night we're also meeting friends for dinner plus we're meeting um, for our very favorite sushi place tomorrow at lunchtime when we arrive in there and then checking into our room then Brian staying at his office for a little bit while uh, for a little while while we're there um, but anyway I'll just take you guys with us for the weekend or whatever. Uh, obviously, only what I can film, only what is allowed to be filmed. Obviously, I don't want to be um, invasive and, you know, share things that aren't related to my channel, basically. Um, so anyway, so yeah, right now I'm just in my room. I'm watching Game of Thrones and packing. So I thought that I would show your, share with you guys what I am packing today. So. Let's go ahead and get in there and I'll show you guys what I am packing. Alrighty, so I'm trying to just use this small suitcase to put everything that we are bringing uh, with us this weekend. Since it is just two nights, we really don't need a, obviously a lot of clothes. And the clothes that we are gonna be bringing and wearing to the wedding, we are going to be hanging in the car. So. I have not gone through any of my stuff since our Key West trip, so I basically have just been refilling everything. So I just took this to my back room and I refilled it with my um, Clean On Me, the Soap and Glory uh, shower gel. So I just refilled this and I'll just put it right back in here. And I actually just checked everything in here as well. Shampoo, um, my baby oil, my detangler, I have everything in here, and everything in here is perfectly fine, so this is like good to go. Um, I'll be putting our clothes over here on this side, I think, or yes, on this side. Um, that way I can cover it up with that. Um, this is gonna be for my curling iron, and then I did get a new uh, like travel mirror, which is right inside of here. I actually have it inside of the bag hold on a second let me pull that out and I'll show you alrighty so this is my new travel mirror and the one that I had before the bottom of it kept falling off the stand that you would put it on it kept falling off during travel and it was breaking and I'm just like you know what I need something that's flat and that can fit in a nice place that will that doesn't need like a stand this basically um, folds back and it is used as a stand so this is kind of what it looks like and it has the little lights on the side which I don't have it on in the back so if I turn it on and you push this on there it has like all the lighting and stuff you need which is absolutely perfect and it changes it to like daytime and nighttime lighting which is really really nice so I really like this and um, it does have the USB so you can use USB to plug it in and charge it and then the other thing that I like about it too is that it, like I said it is flat and it fits perfectly inside of my hair dryer bag and that um, I just kind of put right here which I put this is our laundry bag so I just kind of put that underneath there to actually protect it as well so it's got a little extra cushion in there and then of course the little plug and then the USB plug is actually in there as well so that stuff is all there all done and packed and ready to go along with my hair dryer everything in here has been double checked um, I have my little hair thingy for when I do my hair my makeup razor um, bobby pins, hair ties, my comb, brush, everything in here, toothbrush, toothpaste, everything is in here as well. Um, let's see, aspirin if we need it. So everything is in this one. And then everything is also over here in this one. This one has my makeup remover, hairspray, toothbrush, toothpaste, toothbrush, toothpaste, I don't know why it's over here, but anyway, face wash, deodorant, all the other stuff that's in here too for my hair, all that is in here, and that stuff is really good to go. I went through all that and checked it, so we're good there. I need to put this back in here. 
So we are good to go. Um, this will probably be for any shoes that I bring. Obviously, I always like to bring this. This also has my um, slippers that I like to wear in the hotel room. So that'll come with me as well. And then basically what I'll do is I'll fit Brian's um, bag right here. Um, his toiletry bag will fit perfectly right here. And then any extra shoes that I need to bring as well. And then I'll fold it over and put this in here and fold it over. And that'll be good to go on this side and then of course over here will be socks undies all that good stuff that's for my hair dryer and that's where all this stuff will go so now that's what i'm going to start focusing on now is the undies clothing and stuff that we're going to be wearing while we are there all righty so i actually have my dress laid out that i'm going to actually wear to the wedding on saturday and this is just a black this dress is amazing i just tried it on it is just so beautiful it is a very long dress lengthy dress it's got this really what is this called i don't even know what this tufted tufted i don't even know what this is called but this is just that really scrunched material right here and then it falls really nicely on the waist as just a just beautiful flowy dress it's got it's like black and ivory so i'm gonna wear my black sandals with it it should be super super cute but this is what i'm wearing on saturday so i have that out and then brian's gonna wear his navy blue jacket his nice dress shirt and then tan pants um to the wedding and then i have his shoes out down there and then i have three pair of shorts out for him one that he can wear like a pair tomorrow and then um Saturday during the day before the wedding and then something that he can change into again Saturday evening he can just wear the same thing that he wore during the day Saturday before the wedding for our outing on Saturday evening and then three shirts that he can wear and then obviously an outfit to wear home so this will be perfectly fine for him to choose from for the next two three days that we're going to be gone so now i have to worry about finding the outfits for myself for tomorrow and for half a day saturday and then sunday on the way home Alrighty, so I have already showered. Um, I kind of finished packing the little bit that I need to pack. Um, I have all of the stuff that we're gonna be bringing. I think I've picked out all of the things that I need to wear. Um, all of our clothes and stuff that we need to hang up are laying across the couch in the living room. And then tonight, Brian and I are headed out for a business um, gathering i don't really know what it's called just like kind of business like gathering um and we're going to be hanging out with a bunch of other business people for him and uh, mingling and then um probably eating i'm not exactly sure what they're doing but anyway we have a business thing we have to go to tonight that's all i know <laughs> so um but yeah with that being said i'm gonna show you guys really quick what i am wearing um i actually wanted to wear this tomorrow on my way to georgia so if y'all see me in this tomorrow it means that i didn't get anything on it tonight and i'm gonna wear it tomorrow just so you know um anyway so yeah there's my little outfit i got black shorts on with this cute like top i got at chic soul which is an online like facebook boutique you guys can go look it up like i said it's called chic soul c-h-i-c-s-o-u-l chic soul um and it's actually just a super cute like top and it's a very thin material um like sweater material but it's very thin it just looks super cute i'm gonna wear like black sandals with it i just like the way that it looks so but i get on it already dang it did i already get something on my shorts it does not surprise me but anyway so yeah this is what i'm wearing and um i've actually been watching the sorry blackout i've actually been watching game of thrones again so I, like started from the very beginning i think maybe i'm on season the last season no season four the last episode of season four i think um they already killed joffrey's it's just it's moving right along it's moving right along i just love this show love this ep love these um the series and then yesterday i watched um the latest episode of handmaid's tale that was amazing so getting caught up on everything but right now i got to do my hair and then oh really quick i wanted to show you um a grove collab um box came in so i want to show you really quick what i got because my mom wanted me to order some dusting stuff so that's what i did so let's go check it out all right 
so with my mom, um, let me move you guys up here. So my mom, you know, has been doing her room and everything and she finally got some of her furniture in there. And I will show you guys what her room looks like after it's all done, cause it's still not done yet. She's still waiting for like her bed to come in, but she has the same um, furniture that I have in my bedroom. So um, anyway, she wanted to know what I use to dust my furniture with. And I told her this stuff. So this is the stuff that I use to dust my, um, all of my furniture with. Well that, it probably won't come in, but it probably needs to like focus. So there we go. This is the 11th generation like wood cleanser. And this is the stuff that I use. So my mom wanted me to get her some, so I ordered her some as well. Um, let's see, we have two of those, one for her, one for me, cause I was almost out. And then I ordered some more um, dish soap because you can, oh, you can never have enough of the dish soap. So this is the dish soap that I always like to get. This dish soap. It's amazing and it just smells so good. I love it. Oh, it just smells so good. I got it on my nose. Now it'll be stuck in my nose for the rest of the night. But anyway, okay, so that's it. So now I'm gonna go do my hair. I also wanted to let you guys know really quick too, the other day I did a FabFitFun video, which you guys will see tomorrow I think um, anyway this was in my FabFitFun box and I was not gonna try them um, I knew Brian would try want to try them so he did he tried one today and he said that they taste gross they're not very good at all um, so let me know if you guys have tried these and what you guys thought but he did not like them at all and that's why I was not gonna try it because it's gonna like ruin a glass of water for me so ugh, no good well hello friends told you I was gonna wear this again I didn't get anything on it last night and I didn't I I think I wore this for an hour and a half yesterday that's how long um, I wore it for and that's how long we were at that place I mean actually we were at that place for 30 minutes and then Brian and I went to go eat and then we came home so anyway we are in Georgia now we just checked into our hotel here in Snellville we have stayed at this hotel before but like always I will give you guys a room tour um, because not everybody has watched those room tours before so I'm gonna go ahead and do a room tour when I get back um, Brian and I just um, met his secretary and his other his employee his other employee for lunch at our favorite sushi place the one that we always used to meet at when um, we lived here it was every Thursday that we used to meet there um, I'm out of breath because I just came down the stairs from the room. Anyway, and then um, now I'm taking Brian over to his office so he can hang out with those guys for a little bit. I'm gonna run to Old Navy because I have like $30 Old Navy cash that I wanna, it's like burning a hole in my pocket and I really wanna spend it. And then um, I will pick Brian up and then um, we are meeting friends this evening for dinner. So, um, but after I come go to Old Navy, I'll come back here and I'll bring in these clothes that I have hanging up behind us. And then um, I will do a room tour um, then. And then I'll pick up Brian and then we'll go meet our friends for dinner this evening. So. We are already off to a fun, adventurous start. The traffic is absolutely crazy here, as usual. Um, you guys know that I never like to come out here um, before or after 12 o'clock, and it's you know 12. It's two o'clock right now, so it's already after that time. So I'm always usually try to get back home before the cr traffic got crazy. So I was always out here and get my, got my stuff done before noon. So a lot of you guys remember that. Um, and I'm a morning person anyway, so I like to get my stuff, I wake up early and get my stuff done in the mornings. But anyway, enough jibber jabber. Um, yeah, I will uh, see you guys in a little bit, either at Old Navy or after Old Navy, doing the room tour sometime. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, so I had success in Old Navy. So once I get back to my room, I'll show you guys everything that I got. It's so funny, like I can go to my Old Navy in my town and I can find, it's hit or miss sometimes at those places. So this place had different things than I saw at my Old Navy in Huntsville. So like I said, it's hit or miss. And now that I say hit or miss, does anybody ever remember the store hit or miss? It was it literally spelled hit or miss. H-I-T-O-R-M-I-S-S. -S -S. Literally spelled that way. Now we had one in Chicago when I was growing up. It used to be over by the Zaire in South Elgin. Anybody else heard of Zaire? Okay, I'm like really going far back. But 
I am here at Starbucks and I picked up a, a caramel frappuccino. So let me pay for it and then um, I'll see you guys back at the hotel. But a caramel frappuccino. I haven't had one in forever. Alrighty, so I am back from Old Navy. I'm actually just gonna kind of kick back here and chill for a little bit. I think I have to pick up Brian in like an hour from his office. But what I thought I would do really quick is just kind of show you guys a few things that I picked up at um, Old Navy. And then um, I will do a room tour. And um, once that room tour is over, we'll come back and um, I'll show you guys the stuff from Old Navy. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that room tour. in December when we were here we were down a little bit further on the same floor I think and this was our view <laughs> it was the same same view but this time it's not winter it is summertime and all their flowers and stuff are out at home at Home Depot so all their mulch is out and everything so yeah this is Snellville and it's raining and I said to myself I should have probably brought my umbrella in and I didn't um, there's a shoe right there if you see that little spot somebody has like one single shoe down there that's hilarious and then right over there is a swimming pool and of course here is the parking lot which I parked up front I could probably park back here but oh well so nice all right Alrighty, so I'm actually sitting right here in front of the air conditioner, so it like actually feels really, really cool, but I forgot my frappuccino back there. That's okay. I will make this short and sweet, but also fun because this is an Old Navy haul, and y'all know how much I love me some Old Navy. I, I didn't, like, I wanted to spend my $30, which I spent way more than the $30, but they did take the 30 Actually, they took 45 off because I had a 30 and a 15 so it all worked out. So almost $50 I saved, so that's a good thing. And then I did earn 30 more of the cash, and I absolutely love these things, and I do use them. So anyway, okay, so let's start with a few things that I picked up. These are not going to go in any order because I'm just pulling them right out of the bag. So I love running around the house or walking around the house, working around the house in just like cute little comfortable shorts. Um, so these are so cute and they're like a pink and they're kind of like that um, sweatshirt material. Um, but they're very thin and light, but oh my gosh, so comfortable. And I don't sleep in shorts. I sleep in panties and like a, like a regular like tank top. Um, because I get super hot. But anyway, I just need some shorts to like um, work around the house, relax around the house. So pink, so cute. I picked up two more pair as well and I'll show you guys those in a second. I picked up another white tank top because I could always use these tank tops. This is usually what I sleep in or I also wear them underneath clothing. You guys can see I actually have one on 
right here. I have a black one on. Um, I wear them underneath my clothes all the time. Um, I don't know why, but I just do. But anyway, um, so I picked up one of these. These are so soft and they're tunic length. So they come down really, really long, like past your bum sometimes. But a lot of the time I tuck them in too. Unless I'm sleeping in, of course I don't tuck them in. But anyway, picked up one of these. So, so nice. I love these kind of um, pants, this material. And I, ha I know the name of the material off the top of my head and I cannot think of what it is. Um, but anyway, what is this material? So I can tell you guys. This is linen. Oh yes, linen. Love this material. So I picked up these pants. Look at these pants. They're like the long, like little pants or whatever, and they're just like linen. I love wearing these type of pants, especially like in the summertime when I don't want to wear shorts or something, or I'm trying to dress up a little bit. These are like the best thing to have. And I actually had a pair of these and they were actually too small. So I ended up having to give them to my sister. So these ones, I'm hoping that they fit. But anyway, I got those. And then they had some really awesome choices of shorts here so i picked up three pair of shorts i picked up these ones this color look how pretty that color is it's almost like i don't know it's almost like a puke color <laughs> puke i'm gonna wear puke um but anyway i just love the like the the elastic waistband so nice it also um buttons and zips so it's not just an elastic waistband it's also the button and zip and um, it has pockets on the side I just love them and they're such a perfect length too and they have two pockets in the back so I picked up three pair of those I picked up that color I picked up this really pretty like ivory color and then I picked up oh this green color this like um, camouflage green color isn't, isn't that pretty I love those and then um, I picked up this white shirt I love this I have a black one very similar to this that I love wearing with my um, black and white striped shorts that I got at Old Navy but this shirt is like a long sleeve white shirt you can you know pull it up because it's got elastic sleeves right here so you can pull it up and make it like a three-quarter sleeve or whatever but anyway it's just white it's kind of got that I don't know I can't describe this material it is so pretty let's see what the material says because I love it it's just like super soft and so comfortable it is it is, it is, it doesn't say. Um, rayon, this, rayon, this cope, I don't know. It's some type of rayon, but it's it's a different type of rayon. But I love this though, so pretty. And then I got this shirt just to kind of like um, wear around the house and maybe with those camouflage shorts. Because look how cute that'll look. That'll be cute. And then I picked up these shorts, just like the little pinky ones, just to kind of like walk around the house in. They're just a little shorts. And then I picked up this color shorts as well. So they're the same type of shorts, just super, super cute. Love them. So that is all I got from Old Navy. And now I'm just going to sit and relax for a little bit until I have to go pick up Brian. I'm going to put all this stuff back in my bag. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. The nice thing about this hotel, and I'll show you, this is the the Hampton Inn right here in Snellville. And the really nice thing about this hotel is that there's a Cracker Barrel right there. There's an Outback right there. There's a Zaxby's. There's a ton of restaurants just even like walking distance from right here. I think that's a Freddy's right there, Burgers and Fries. I know Olive Garden's like across the street, but yeah, this is like the perfect location to stay if you are in Snellville. Good morning, friends, and happy Saturday. Um, I'm laying in bed currently at the hotel this morning. Brian just walked out the door. He's headed downstairs to go grab some breakfast. I asked him to bring me up a banana and a yogurt. So I'm hoping that he does that for me. Um... We were both so tired last night. We were hoping to like get like really good night's sleep. And unfortunately, we slept like crap. Um, Brian had gas all night. <laughs> 
So that kind of kept us awake and laughing because of his gas issue. It was brutal. Um, but yeah, anyway. So today is Saturday. So we don't... Honestly, the wedding isn't until 2 o'clock. So we don't really have to leave here. I was going to leave here at like 12 and go drive past our house, our old house, and um, just kind of take our time. And then like probably show up to the wedding at like 1.30 so we could get like get a parking spot and then a seat, um, mingle a little bit with people there, and then do the wedding thing, and then do the reception thing. And then we have to go to Bray and Sandy's tonight for Chris's graduation thing. So also though, we have to go, I need to stop at Walgreens <laughs> and get a graduation card for him for tonight. So we could put some cash in it for him. So that's what we're gonna do. So today is, today is wedding day for our friends, Brian's business partner. Today is a graduation day for our friend's son. So we're going to be doing that today. We're going to drive past our old house today. So, yeah. Yay. And we slept. While I'm at Walgreens, I'm going to get some. You can see I sleep in my little tank top. Um, while I'm at Walgreens, I'm going to get some sleepy meds for tonight so we can sleep better. Ugh. I hate like not sleeping and these beds are super comfy that was not the issue at all it was just I just could not get to sleep and it was brutal so anywho oh and then yesterday I read Disney dropped their mask mandate so we don't have to wear masks at Disney anymore and I'm very very excited about that I was hoping that they would drop that um, so they did, and I'm super excited about that. Love that. You still have to wear them on transportation, monorails and stuff. But I think it's because, like my friend Kim said, I was texting her and talking to her about it. She said because they're going to start packing those full of people. And I'm like, oh, that's so true. Ugh. I kind of liked, liked pandemic Disney, but without the masks. <laughs> It was like there was no people and no packed lines and no packed transportation. Although I don't ride the transportation except for the monorail. Ooh, you guys get to see my fat shoulders. Um, I don't ride the, except for the monorail. But if I, if I have to wear a mask just on a monorail, that's it. And I could take it off and I'm good to go. You don't have to wear it in a restaurant. You don't have to wear it on a ride. You don't have to wear it, wear it in a queue. So if if the monorail is the only place that I have to wear it, transportation-wise, so be it. But it just it doesn't make any sense. You can walk around without it. You don't have to put it on in a in a monorail. But anyway, all right. So I'm getting ready to have a hot flash. I'm starting to have a hot flash right now. So I'm gonna end this right now. I'm not gonna end the vlog, but I'm gonna end this conversation and I'm gonna turn my fan on so I can cool off. And then Brian should be back with my breakfast. So I'll see you guys when I'm dressed. Bye. Alrighty guys, so we are headed out. We're actually gonna drive by our old house first and then we have to run to Walmart really quick. I forgot to pack Brian some dress socks. So that was an epic fail. So we have to run into Walmart anyway to pick up a card for the graduation party later and then we thought, well, I'll just pick up Brian some socks while we're there. It is hot, it is super hot. The sun is shining finally. Cause like this whole weekend at home has been like crappy weather. Um, I'm also hoping that Brian and I can get someone to take our picture because we both look really great. <laughs> and this is a very rare occasion that we're both like dressed up and looking nice. So I'm hoping I can get someone to at least take our picture while we're together today um but i am actually swinging around the front of the hotel and going to pick brian up he was upstairs getting finishing up his hair and, and everything and i wanted to get in the car and get it cooling off for him so that is what i am going to do so yeah we're off we're gonna go see our house Aww. 
we're gonna go see our old house. The house that I lived in for nine years when we were here. The house that I, you guys were with me a lot of this time in this house too. So, it's just, it's so amazing to go back and, and look through and see the house that we used to live in. We definitely do not, do not miss being here. This traffic, not at all. But anyway, so we're off. Okay, I'll see you guys later. It is 7.30 in the morning, and I am actually headed down to Starbucks really quick to grab a coffee. Um, I kind of woke up with uh, a little bit of a sore throat. Um, Brian actually had one about two weeks ago, and then, you know, he had it for a couple days, and then it went away. Um, my dad, uh, last week, was diagnosed with strep. And of course, I wasn't around my dad. I was around my dad on Memorial Day. Um, and he was, and he got it, he was diagnosed with it five days later. So like that Friday that I was there at my mom's house with the babies, my dad was sick. And that was just a couple days after Memorial Day. So anyway, I kind of woke up this morning with it kind of hurting. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just go down here and grab a hot coffee and then I'll come back to my room take a shower soak in the hot shower for a little while and just let that wake me up and let the steam kind of just run through and uh, maybe it'll start to subside a little bit but um oh my god like there's no traffic out right now this is like the best best time to be in Snellville like not kidding so I'm hoping that um, <clears throat> when I go to Starbucks, <clears throat> there's nobody there. I mean, look at this. Normally, this is like packed with people. <laughs> like from here to way up there. You can see cars as far as you can see on a normal day. Look at this for a Sunday. I love it. Ah. So I'm hoping that Starbucks is not busy at all. So we shall see. I think it's right up here in the corner. Where did my Starbucks go? Starbucks, where are you? Starbucks, where are you? I had to walk down, I had to go downstairs this morning too to the front desk to get, oh yeah, no Starbucks is not packed at all. Um, I had to walk down there to get some more washcloths, face wash cloths, whatever, and um, because obviously we don't want to take showers this morning with fresh rags. <clears throat> so I got those. So let's see. Sun. Bright. Thank you for choosing Snellville Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi, good morning. Could I get a medium uh, white mocha uh, with caramel drizzle, caramel syrup? Is this hot or ice? Hot, please. All right, what else can I get for you? Uh, that's it. All right, one grand day, hot white mocha with caramel syrup and caramel juice. It's going to be 641. Okay, thanks. 
and I forgot my phone, so I have to pull out my debit card. So hold on. Alrighty, got my coffee. Mm. Oh, that feels so good on my throat. Yep, feels real good. All right, so I'm gonna go upstairs now and um, get dressed, shower, oh, shower, get dressed, put myself together, and then we are headed to Jasper, Tennessee this morning. We are going to a, it's called Top of the Rock Brewery. And um, like I said, it's in Jasper, Tennessee. It's just right above Chattanooga. It's only like an hour from our house. Um, so I thought we're gonna go there and then um, have lunch, enjoy the sights and the scenery around there, and then head home. So let's enjoy our Sunday together because it's our last day together. Well, not forever, but today, today. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are ready. Um, we are actually headed to Top of the Rock Brewery. We will be there in about two and a half hours. It says our arrival time will be 12 o'clock, but I think it'll be 11 o'clock because it's on Central Time, not Eastern Time over there. So we gotta go through Chattanooga and then up a little bit and then we will be there. So I will see you guys at Top of the Rock Brewing, and I'm very, very excited to share this with you because from what I have seen on the pictures and stuff, it looks like a very, very beautiful place, and of course the scenery is absolutely gorgeous as well. So, looking forward to sharing all that with you guys. So, let's go. Two hours and 38 minutes, and I will see you. Bye. So, we made it to Top of the Rock Brewery in Jasper, and this is their Serve Sunday 10 to 3, all entrees included brunch bar. So this is what their menu looks like. I think we're just gonna get the country breakfast and split that. And we only have an hour to drive home, so we're good. Wow, they're actually building like another deck out here. And then a bar or something right there. Yeah, that looks really cool. That's really fun. And then yeah, there's the view of the Tennessee River. Once we cross over the bridge over there, you'll be able to see it. There's too. the dam. Can you see the oh, dam yeah, way over there? Sure can. That's cool. Okay. That oh yeah. Very nice. Cool view. Very pretty. And now they have this like little bridge that connects the restaurant, which like right there is the restaurant and brewery. There's the overlook, and then right here is like this little bridge. You can walk over this bridge and check things out over here. <clears throat> Very cool. Access for property owners only. Huh. Property owners only? I don't know either, but. <laughs> Wow, yeah, this place looks really cool from over here. Really neat place. This is like a little wedding venue where you can come and have weddings, cookouts, picnics, whatever. Love that little fireplace, TV, and an amazing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Wow, look at 24. Or is that the. Yeah, it's got to be 24. Wow, very cool. I don't know, that might be... There's 24 as well, so I don't know what that one is yet. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny, obviously, from down there you can see up here, we just don't know it. Oh, of course. Yeah, very cool. Wow. I know, I love that. I'm going to go down there. Okay. Wow, very cool. So pretty. Like, so neat. I don't know if we're supposed to walk across this stuff or not, but I'm gonna. Wow. Yeah, if you guys can see or not, the highway, like 24, is right down there. That runs east and west, obviously, to Chattanooga. And there's the highway. Wow, that is so pretty. So very pretty and so peaceful. Right on the edge. Oh yeah. 
Like, you can go even further, but my luck, I'd fall and slip. But yeah, wow, cool. Oh, they got a little fire pit over there. Man. That's really neat. Obviously, this is a... Alrighty guys, so we are back home. We had to like rush outside and water some flowers because they were looking pretty bad. After all last week we had a ton of rain, I put one of my plants back in um, on the patio here so it would just get some shade. And um, like seriously, it rained every day last week. It even rained Friday when we left. That thing was completely watered and now it's like completely like drooped over dead. So we were outside trying to water plants so they don't die. Um, but anyway, so that's it. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me this weekend. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh wait, I need to talk to you guys about the restaurant we were just at. So. The restaurant we were at is called Top of the Rock Brewery. It is in Jasper, Tennessee. Seriously, it is straight up from our house, one hour straight. Um, it's right across 24, which runs east and west of Chattanooga. Anyway, so we were hoping to get lunch when we got there, but it, they were still serving brunch or breakfast. So I ended up getting their country breakfast, which was um, potatoes, eggs, a biscuit, bacon. It was really, really good. And then I got a sweet tea and a water to drink. And then um, they bring out a tray for free just like you know a tray of food that has like brownies on it it has grapes um watermelon no excuse me um cantaloupe had a couple of strawberries on there and it had like some pasta salad on there too which is really really good i really enjoyed that we ended up bringing the brownies home um, so we could eat those a little bit later but other than that we definitely want to go back again knowing that it's only an hour from our house um, we want to go back so we can actually you know um, maybe see the evening views and grab dinner because they actually have a pizza place right next to it a fiery it's called fiery gizzard pizza so we really want to try that next time so yeah so i look forward to our next trip up there and uh with that being said thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye